What's up YouTube? Crafted Cars here. Happy Friday. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace or upgrade the oil pump on your B16 engine or actually really any Honda B-Series motor. Uh, if you're wondering how I got the block to this point right here, you can go ahead and check out my B16 block disassembly video. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So you're going to want to go ahead and pick up some parts cleaner, um, some RTV, uh, silicone gasket maker. I recommend the Honda Bond Gray. Um, you're also gonna need a 10 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter socket, a torque wrench, um, some towels, and anything to break the nuts loose, like an impact or a ratchet or anything like that. So here's your oil pump right here. And basically what this does is it uses the rotation of the crankshaft to pump uh, oil pressure throughout your engine, keep everything nice and lubricated. And the first thing I wanna do to be able to take this oil pump off is get this tensioner off, or at least get it out of the way. So that tensioner is going to be a 14 millimeter bolt. All right, now you'll see you got these 10 millimeter bolts here, 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 and then you're going to have two 12 millimeter bolts in the corners here. So once again, go ahead, grab your socket, 10 mil. Grab your 12 millimeter. Pull those around there, good. That one came off easy. What's up with this one? Sometimes you just gotta get angry at it. Okay. That's all of them. So with all those bolts off, you should be able to pull this thing out. All right, carefully slide it off. And then these also have dowel pins that kind of lock it into place. That must've been why it was so hard to take off. So yeah, here's the old one. And the new one I'm gonna be replacing with it I've got this ACL race series oil pump. But before we go ahead and install that, we gotta clean up this mating surface right here. Still got a whole bunch of old gasket material and stuff like that. So it should just peel off. Otherwise you can grab a razor blade or something and scrape it off, which I might have to do. Wipe down the surface until it's nice and shiny and clean. And don't forget about this O-ring right here. You want to replace this O-ring and do the same thing to this mating surface here. Just get it as clean as possible. Now, once you've made it this far, you're ready to install your new oil pump. Now, most oil pumps will come with a new oil ring seal as well as a pickup tube gasket. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to be showing you you're gonna to wanna to put the O-ring seal right in this spot here. And then the mating surface on your new oil pump, you want that to be clean as well. If you don't wipe it down, the RTV won't adhere right, and uh, you'll probably run into leaking issues. And nobody likes leaks. All right, so I go ahead and take my Honda Bond RTV and just put a thin layer all the way around this mating surface, as well as around where the O-ring is gonna go. Alrighty, so now that we got a nice thin layer of RTV spread out there, uh, we're about ready to install our oil pump. Just a couple things, you want to make sure that this front main seal is nice and lubricated, and that you'll notice that inside here, you've got a couple flat spots. You want that to line up with the flat spots on the crank right here. So I've already got it 
kind of clocked in the position where I should be able to slide it right on. Now you're going to want to give it a couple taps just to get those dowel pins seated in. So now you can go ahead and put your hardware back in, just make sure it's hand tight, and then we'll go around and we'll torque them to spec later. So now you can go ahead and grab your torque wrench and then your 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter socket again uh, because we're going to have to torque these 12 millimeter bolts to 17 foot pounds and these 10 millimeter bolts to 8 foot pounds. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our tensioner. All right, so now that you got everything torqued down, uh, you're not supposed to run any oil through this or run the motor for 15 to 16 hours. That's how long this stuff takes to set up. Um, but there you go, there's the install for you. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, pretty fast. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out at all, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next Friday or maybe Tuesday. We'll see what we got going on. Bye. -bye.